I have two of these automated blinds in my house here, and I previously purchased one in an earlier house. They're infrared controlled, and they're pretty useful if you're lazy and want to open and close your blinds from somewhere else in the room, or if you have something in front of your blinds that makes it hard to get up close to them. And they're the same brand, E-Rod, as a automated blind I had in my previous house. And two of those three worked great. Um, the third one I've had two different problems with over the last year. So first, the blind would open, but when you'd go to close it, it would make a clicking noise, and it wouldn't close immediately. And after somewhere between 20 seconds and 5 minutes, then it would close. Um, it was acting like there was a relay inside where the contacts were clicking but not making a connection for a while. Eventually it failed completely where it wouldn't even click and it would just not close. So I opened it up and I found that yes, one of these two blue relays had failed and I was lucky that I was able to find some exact replacement parts so I actually replaced both of the relays um, and after that it worked well for another couple of months. And then I came in one night and pushed a button, and the blind didn't move at all. So no clicking, nothing else like that. I took it apart again, looking for problems. Um, I looked at all the capacitors on the board. They looked okay. I checked all the diodes because I have a diode tester on my meter, and that was an easy thing to check. Um, and eventually, I looked at this power regulator. So the blind has a 12 volt power input and the motor is 12 volts and the relays switch and run 12 volts but the actual electronics use a 5 volt supply. Um, and this 5 volt supply had something weird with it. Um, in addition to the board having a red rework wire where either a trace was left off the PCB um, intentionally or it just didn't work correctly and they had to put a red rework wire on it, they also had this resistor in place of the leg of this power regulator. So they were limiting the input voltage and current into this power regulator. It's a very standard 78L05 power regulator. Um, they're rated to take an input of a maximum of 30 volts, so a 12 volt input shouldn't really be a problem for it. And they're rated to put out up to 150 milliamp hours, so plenty for running the microcontroller that looks at the infrared control signal and turns on and off the relays. Now, what I found was that it was actually only putting out about 2 volts. Um, this was enough to turn on the little LED that's inside on the circuit board, so I thought the power supply was good, but it actually wasn't when I actually metered it. So, when I shorted it, the most current it could put out was about 17 milliamps, which apparently wasn't enough to run everything on the board. Um, either that or the voltage was just too low. So I took it off out of the circuit and I thought maybe the resistor was a problem so I bypassed the resistor but the problem was definitely with the power regulator. Um, luckily I had my own uh, 78L05 power regulator just in stock and so I just soldered that back in. I didn't bother putting the resistor on because according to the spec sheet it'll be just fine in this application. Also the um, Power draw when idle is only 8 milliamps, and so this device can easily um, handle 8 milliamps continuously. Um, so it really shouldn't need that power limiting resistor. My suspicion here is maybe the factory was using a batch that were counterfeit or just bad, and they knew they wouldn't really go up to specs, and so they put in that resistor to try to limit current through it. Um, but I don't know exactly what went wrong. All I know is that power regulator died. So when I replaced it, the system worked just fine, and I hope it's going to keep working in the future.